Hey there. Uh, in the last video, we actually got rid of our red oval and created a new perfectly proportional blue circle. And we also added a drop shadow uh, to make it look a little bit nicer. And we also put it in the perfect center of our canvas here. Now, we're going to talk a little bit in this video about duplication and organization. So let's let's create a, a hypothetical thing here where you want to make more of this circle. And so you, you'd, you'd think that by now through all these steps that we've taken that haven't been very difficult, that Photoshop would also make that very easy. Well, you, you'd be right. They have made it very easy. So all we're going to do here is pretty much a copy and paste kind of thing. So let's go ahead and select our layer one and let's right click and right under our blending options, we're going to hit duplicate layer. We can name this whatever we like. I'm going to go ahead and name this layer two. So we know the difference, and there we are. We have two identical circles on top of each other. Very cool. Now, uh, let's move this circle to the left. And we're going to go ahead and just keep it along our ruler there. And let's go ahead and leave it right there. All right. Very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of our rulers by hitting Command colon and getting rid of the move box around our circle. And you can really start to see now how the layers are working together with those shadows. Uh, you can see that because this layer is on top of this one, that it's kind of coming over and it's it's kind of sitting on top of it. It's like floating on top of it almost. Uh, it's very cool how those are working. And if you're still having trouble uh, understanding layers, then uh, just send me a message or something and we'll see if we can figure this out. Uh, but now that we have two of the exact same circles on there, let's make a third one. Now let's think about it real quick. Whenever we made a copy of this layer one, it put it directly on top. So whenever you make a duplicate layer of any type, it's going to put the layer that you duplicated directly on top of the original. So uh, let's, let's think here if we want to make another circle that's on top of this layer or do we want to make one that's below this layer? Okay, well, let's, let's make it a little bit more difficult and let's say we want to make it below this layer uh, and, and then we'll see how we organize that. So let's go ahead and right click on the same layer one and let's duplicate that layer. We'll call this one layer three. Okay, you can see that layer 3 is above layer 1, but we don't want it to be above layer 1. We want it to be below it. So this is very simple, and organizing and moving your layers is a very simple process as well. So go ahead and click on layer 3, and go ahead and just drag it below layer 1. Now, we didn't see much of a difference since they're directly on top of each other, but layer 3, which is the third circle we duplicated, is actually directly below our original. So let's go ahead and bring our rulers back up so we can drag it over uh, and keep it on the line. And we're going to drag layer 3 over, and let's say that's good about there. Now, you can really see how these layers are working together. You can see that the very bottom layer is this one. The one in the middle is directly in the middle, and, and the one on top is on top of all the others. The shadows make it very easy to see that, and that's why we did it that way, so you can even understand layers even more. Okay, so now let's, let's think here. Um, we know that our very first layer is in the direct center, but what about the other ones? There, there might be less room on this side, and I can even kind of see already that there's less room on this side than there is on this one. And that's posing a problem already because our three circles aren't directly in the center. So how do we do all three of them and get this jumble in the center right here? Well, it's very easy to select all of these layers and move them at one time, which is exactly what we're going to do. I would suggest uh, starting with either the layer that's on top or the layer that's on bottom of where you want to start. Uh, for this sake, we'll start with the one on bottom. Go ahead and click on it, hold your shift key, 
and click the end of where you want to select. So let's say you had five layers. So you'll click from the bottom five layers up and whatever you wanted to select. Okay, great. So you can see that we have our uh, move box around all three circles. And you can see this is the, uh, the crosshairs right here. This is the center of all of these layers. And you can see that we actually wore off the center a little bit. So let's go ahead and click and drag all of these until it snaps, which is about right there. So now all three of these circles are in the exact center of our canvas. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that all these circles are equally apart from each other. It just means that our selection of these three are perfectly in the center. So, now let's say we want to select just uh, this layer and this layer, and we want to bring them actually closer to this one. Uh, you know what, actually let's make this a little bit different. Let's select the two outside circles because that will work better for what I'm trying to explain here. Let's say we want to select those two but not the center and we want to move those instead. Well you can't use the shift key because it will select everything in that line. So what we're actually going to do is use the command key. And so you're going to select actually wherever you want to start and we'll select layer 2, hold down the command key and hit layer 3. Now, it looks like these are all selected because this circle is in between them. But you have to look here and know, okay, this one's highlighted blue and this one's highlighted blue. That way you know what your selection is. So if you try to start moving it, you can see that the middle stays exactly where it's at, but those circles change. So let's say we want to move them kind of like that, just for learning purposes. Okay, so now it looks kind of a little candy wampus, but that doesn't matter. Now let's do the same thing we did earlier and put those three layers all together in the center. You can see that this is the center of these three circles. We'll go ahead and drag that over, and it snapped right about there. So now we can obviously see that our space between all of our circles is not the same, but we know that between all of these layers that the center is sound. So let's go ahead and back up a little bit and let's get them back perfect. So let's think about a little bit of organization here and let's let's say you're working with a lot of layers. Let's say you're working with like 50 layers and you have say 20 circles just like this for whatever reason. It's gonna get extremely messy in this area here. So what can we do to help organize a little bit? Well, if you remember uh, just simple computer operation, you know that if you have a bunch of files in one place and you kind of want to just clean it up a little bit, you can make a folder. Uh, that's exactly what we're going to do here. If you look down here in your layers palette, you're going to see a little folder and it's going to say create a new group. You're going to hit that button and it's going to create a group one. Now, there's nothing actually in it yet. You have to put things in it. And so that is also very easy to do. So like we selected all three circles earlier whenever we wanted to move them, we're going to select these three layers and we're just going to drag them into group one. Now, you know that this worked because they're below this arrow here. If we undo what we just did, you can see that there is no indent coming from this arrow. But whenever we put them into the group, there's an indent from this arrow. And you can also tell that it worked by clicking the arrow and seeing that all of your layers are now inside of this group. And let's rename this group by double clicking and we'll put blue circles. Okay, great. So now let's say you had red squares and you had six of them. Well, you can now group those six layers and put them in a group called red squares or whatever you want to name them. And now you only have two objects representing these many, many shapes. And the cool thing also about having these groups is instead of saying, okay, I don't want to look at that, I don't want to look at that, okay, now I have a blank canvas again and I can work. Well, let's put them all back. Now let's select the eyeball for that group. And now they are all gone simultaneously. So that helps making organization a very, uh, a very easy thing to do. 
it'll help clean up your workspace it'll help give you better organization skills because you can see okay this is this group this is this group this is this group and this is what I have to work with which will become very handy whenever you get into the more advanced uh, sections whenever you're working with shapes on top of shapes on top of shapes with glares and reflections and all kinds of things so this concludes this video uh, as a quick review, we did a little bit of duplicating and we grouped our layers together to help simplify things. Uh, we'll see you for the next video. If you have any questions or concerns, please uh, leave them. I'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, thank you again for watching. We'll see you soon.